Okay, we cleaned up our model quite a bit. We've gotten rid of all those fillets. And what that allowed us to do is to make new fillets. For example, what I want to do here, so I want to come over here and make sure to make this edge a fillet of three millimeters. And before I type in a number in here, I'm going to click this edge as well. And I will click this edge on the back side. Oh, there's a fillet there. I'm about to make sure I delete this face first. All right, let's do that one more time. So I'll pick this edge, this edge, this edge, and this one. You can see there's still a fillet there. I'm getting a little sloppy here. And yeah, there was one left there. All right, I think we finally have all those fillets that we need to be gone. Okay, hit F key again. Let's do this one last time here. These edges. And there's some logic here to this. We're making sure to put these, all these edges in one feature. In this case, we'll stick with three. We'll hit okay. And now, that we have this nice tangent loop here. I'll hit the F key one more time and I'll pick this saddle here and that one, that one, and finally this one. And let's do something a little bit bigger. Let's try six millimeters this time. So put six in here. All right. And now what that's doing is it's creating more surface area here to distribute the stress from all the torquing that is going on in this part. All right. So I like that. That's our first modification of the part that we want. Another thing we're going to do is take a look at the bottom pocket. There's quite a bit of uh, weight here. And, and it, this pocket doesn't really go that deep. So what we can do here is we can go and use that Q tool. And that Q tool will allow us to press and pull this, just this face here. So I can do that. I can bring it down a little bit if I want to. Now you got to be careful with this press pull tool. You know, it's a little sensitive. If your computer's not fast enough to process the changes, you may miss visually what's happening. I'll drop it a little bit here. And it basically went from negative 5 to negative 7. I'm going to just dial in negative 7 directly and see what happens. When I do that, it takes a little while to compute that. And there you go. We just probably lightened our part quite a bit by doing that. All right. Now one more change is the thickness uh, between this original offset. That's going to be found in the one of the original sketches here. Right there, there's a sketch for that. I double click that sketch. You can see we had a value of 10. And what I like to try is maybe something that's maybe a little a little narrower. So I'll double click that value. Let's try six. All right. And that looks about right. I like that. We'll hit stop sketch. And let's see what the result is here. All right. So I'm liking it. I'm definitely liking this.